Chicago streets. Our streets. Say our streets our and mean it. Right. Mean it. Whose streets? Our, our streets. streets. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Bass, and today we're going to be talking about hip-hop and fashion. Yes, hip-hop and fashion, we all know they go together. And, you know, lately, Gucci and Louis Vuitton, all these big-name designer labels, they've been making a lot, of, a, 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 a lot of noise in the media, which I feel like is all propaganda, but we ain't going to talk about that. Um, but we're going to shed light on some of those who are cultural influences that we ain't even, I don't know if you probably even knew, but most people do know. Um, they had their own brands, but they're doing their thing. One in particular, the one that we're going to talk about today is Chris Brown. Um, as a lot of people may know, he has Black Pyramid, which is a, a urban street word as what they may categorize it in the fashion world. We may just say, like, it's fashion for black people. <laughs> Um, but, you know, if you want to be politically correct and all that type of stuff, you would say that it's urban streetwear. Um, recently, you know, for a long time, I didn't even know Chris Brown was behind the whole Black Pyramid. I just knew he helped push it. But, you know, when it comes down to a lot of these brands and things like that, uh, a lot of people that's the face of a brand or you may think is the owner might not really be like, uh, like an actual owner owner or have ownership, they just may be like a brand ambassador or something like that. Um, but then I come to find out, you know, he's an actual designer, uh, he's an actual owner, um, and he plays a real big pivotal piece in pushing and just developing the whole Black Pyramid brand. And which I thought was pretty dope because as I look at it, you know, it's a real, it's, it's a real stylish brand too at the same time. It used, it used trendy, uh, as I mean, like as some people say, uh, trendy looks, as well as unique, um, and also just for, for for who it is, I feel like it's a good combination. You know, I seen a few videos of him. Um, if you go on like the Instagram account and stuff like that, uh, you see videos of him performing in it and all that type of stuff. That's 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 hard. Why? Because when you think about music artists, man, you got three sixty yourself. So, and what I, I mean by that is he's always on the road, he's selling merch, he's always taking pictures, he's a, a global icon, he's a global figure, people's checking out his Instagram, you know, people idolize him and, you know, things of that nature want to support him in many different ways, why not start a fashion brand and utilize uh, his platform that he already created to help push that brand, which can help open up doors for other individuals. And the reason why I say that is because I see that he also hired a whole bunch of other models to take pictures for him. So it didn't have to just be him. He was able to, you know, give opportunity to other people. So they, we, you can see how it relates to the culture, which is pretty dope. And, you know, and being in his position, he's able to do so. So that's why I say, like, it's smart for him to be able to leverage that and not really um, just think about just teaming up with, like, a... I mean, not knocking it, you know, he could team up with like a Louis Vuitton or something like that, but they already have their already established brands and things of that nature. Not saying that he probably, he probably is endorsed by other brands too as well. But, you know, by, by him having his own and by his being like real distinctive and, you know, being tailored around who he is as a person, um, I feel like that's a gold mine for him. And then due to his connections in the music industry and things like that, He's, he was able to, you know, get his, his his garments on, you know, other celebrities and inf uh, social media influencers. 
So that right there alone, you know, was just a smart move by him um, taking that networking system, taking them platforms that he built uh, just from the music game and now applying that to the fashion industry, which a lot of people already look to him for. You know, because a lot of people, you know, they look at what he wear, you know, stuff like that. So just long story short, it's like somebody out there right now, you probably thinking like, man, I, I want to make an, you know, like an add on move to what I got going on. Um, you might be a mechanic. Uh, you, you, you might be a mechanic. And you might come up with like a car washing formula because you might be like, man, hey, that wax is good, but it. It clumps up on your car, but when I add this little, you know, this little mixture, little or such and such, such and such to it, you feel me? You don't get that clumpness, but you also get that wax and that water repellent. But it might just be a, a side 